Straight from the suburban hell of Westwood, the clueless depths of Dedham, come strange ways. Four talented musicians who aren't in it for the money. This video will take you into their lives and tell you what you're missing by not having their tape. All you gotta do is request it. Don't miss it. It's free. Hi, I'm Ken Ellis. I've always looked above you like a shadow in the sky. I think you got you off. Hi, I'm Mike Trainers. You're about to take it from you and you're Hi, I'm Art Ross. And now, I'm going to interview Ken on a short history of the band. How so, you doing? Yeah, pretty good, how about you? Good. Uh, how did you guys meet? Well, let's see. I, I live next to Art since we were both born, and then he moved away at about age two, and since my cousin and we know each other. So we just kept in touch. Now, how'd you get to know Mike? Uh, Mike, I met him in first grade. We went, went, had the same teacher in school, and we just knew each other all through the years. So it's been a lasting relationship, I yep, suppose. Yep, I guess so. Uh, when did you guys first start doing something musically? Um, actually, me and I, we both, maybe May of 93, we got together writing and just composing songs. and. As a band, in about October 93, we began with all three of us, mm. and it's been great. What was the first song you guys learned? Um, I believe it was War Machine by Kiss. Uh, that's featured on your tape, I, I hear. Right, yeah. Very, you know, almost superior to the original. Yes, it is. Almost. Almost. It can't be Kiss, though. All right, and next we're going to have a short interview with Mike. So, Mike, how did you get involved in music in general? Well. About Christmas of 93, I believe, or even 92. So 83, the end of our 83, Ken got his guitar. And his cousin Art was playing from earlier on, but he really wasn't really into it until Ken got his. And then they sort of started getting together more often. And then uh, Ken said, why don't you try playing bass? We can get a band together. It was kind of like a joke at first. Then I got it, and then I uh, started jamming. First song was, I believe, uh, a May of 93 or something or whatever. It kind of stunk. It sucked with your bad. But, uh, anyway. Well, now how did you get around to playing the drums? Well, the drums, this, this kid I know, Alex Ballman, had a set which was given to him by his brother's girlfriend. Because I guess that set, like, nobody wants that set except for us. Because it was given to him and then he gave it to us pretty much for 11 bucks. I understand it was a good name for eleven dollars, wasn't it? Yes, it, it is a it's a Ludwig set, which is uh, you can barely find the marking though. I bet he didn't know that when he sold it. I don't think anybody knew that. Mm -hmm. All right, next we're gonna have a short interview with Art. So, Art, how did you first get around to playing the guitar? I started playing guitar around seventh grade. I was about thirteen. I took lessons over at Nofor County Music for about a year and a half, but I got really frustrated because all they did was teach you Mary had a little lamb. So I remember one major thing was when I got through the first book, I figured, okay, this is going to be great. I'll get real songs. But I started playing the vocals to Beatles songs. And that really wasn't my thing, so I quit. And for a long time, I just did nothing, really. And I got together with Ken. He taught me a few things that he picked up, and we kind of bounced off each other. How exactly did you further pursue your guitar playing technique? Because I've noticed you're a little better than the way you made it sound. But Last year, I started taking guitar lessons again from a guy named Joe Hart. He recorded us. But before that, I've been hanging around with Ken, and we've done a lot of things. People have shown him how to play power chords, which basically got me. And I wasn't confident in soloing, but when I started taking lessons, I kind of picked up on it, and now I'm more interested in things like theory and stuff like that. I just want to increase my speed, and now I want to stop using power chords so much. It's really a crutch. We'll be right back after this commercial. Are you sick and tired of playing in the dark? Well, Sylvania light bulbs will really help you out. Sylvania light bulbs, the best in the business.
All right, and this is what the band has to say about that tape. Yeah. Low Budget, the new six-song EP by Strange Ways. Features four originals, two covers by Great Band. It's well worth the money because it's free. It's great. You go out and get it. Yep. Recorded by Joe Hart. He's starting a record company called Rabbit Records. You can get his album too. It's not free. No, that's not free. It comes with a book. Good. Shake it around, tip, put, put it upside down and go, oh fuck! Oh, what? Uh oh, time, time to switch to the uh, the helmet cam. <laughs> it's already recording, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I don't think this thing's focusing. Pull the viewfinder off. Twist it one way in. The sun, yo. Give it a hand job, yo. <laughs> he cut in front of my picture. Now we're doing another high speed chase. Look at this puppy fur. Wow. Ah. The brilliant light, folks. Crossing. I hope we hit one of them fat things. Shit. You got your number, man! You got it? Yep. Yeah, just keep filming until I start shutting up. Goddamn traffic these days. Go, go, go. We will bring you along on a round of the beep and runs later. Thank you. Yeah, which uh, camera is it? Ah, uh, my grandfather's. Well, at both the yours? Yeah. <laughs> Wanna leave it with me yet? Good. Get the car. I know. Asshole! Check out that gun. Is it in wide angle?